to have our next guest here in studio at Channel 10. And if you're going to the game tomorrow, be looking for him during halftime on the field, 50-yard line, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. Phil Ledbetter, everybody, known uh, to so many in our community, an incredibly gifted musician and an all-around amazing guy who's inspiring so many. We're going to talk about your health in a moment, but let's begin with this exciting opportunity inside Neyland Stadium. You've played on all the great stages, let's be honest, but this is one that, that you just can't pass up. No, I've, I've actually passed it three times because I was out of town, so one time in Indianapolis and uh -huh. places like that. But this time it came up and uh, and I was supposed to be heading for vacation and I postponed my vacation because, you know, this is bucket list stuff to play at Dayland Stadium. Yeah, and let's talk about who you're playing with and about the performance. Yeah, we're uh, going to be playing with the uh, Pride of the Southland Band mm -hmm. and uh, guys in our band is uh, Gary Davis. He works at Dixie Stampede, mm -hmm. like a three or four time uh, banjo player of the year. Uh, one of my buddies, Steve Gully, and his band, Gary Robinson, Brian Turner, uh -huh. and then a guy named Matt Flake that is one of the managers over the music at uh, Old Smoky Moonshine. Awesome. So we've got a, we, we have a good band. Gonna be a bluegrass jam session? Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna do like three different tunes, bluegrass standards, and of course, uh, you know, one will be Rocky Top. Yeah, you better believe it. Cannot yeah. wait to hear Gotta it. Have that. that number for sure. It's gonna be good. Well, and let's talk about, you were spouting off accolades for some of the folks that will take the field tomorrow, but we have to brag on you. You've been honored yet again by the International Bluegrass Music Association. Congratulations. Oh, thank you, I was very proud of that. I didn't expect it. Uh, I won it in 2005 in 2014 but this is voted on uh, worldwide yeah. and they have like nearly 2,000 members vote so you know uh, I was just really shocked and then what was funny is as soon as I won my next thing was I looked at the stage and and looked at the steps and thought how am I going to get up there which that'll be part of our next story as to why I looked at the that's, steps. That's <laughs> why I looked at the steps and that honor couldn't come at a better time. You have battled cancer how many times mm -hmm. now? Well I'm a five-time survivor now and uh, it's funny the first time I had cancer I was just all tore up, broke up, ready ready to die and everything. And the next times I had it, I just got mad yeah. about it. I got mad at the cancer. I wasn't going to let it beat me. But this last time, I have to say that it really got the best of me. And I thought I was, I thought that was it. Yeah. But uh, I've got, I got on some medicine and uh, about three months, uh, or not even three months, three doses later yeah. of a new medicine called Opdevo mm -hmm. that President Carter took. And I'd had it in clinical trials at Vanderbilt. Uh, I went from having cancer everywhere to being totally clear. That's amazing, and we hope it that really continues. Is. We've been praying for you, and we're so happy to have you I with us in studio. It. It's, it always, it's always good. I had to get well to come back and see you guys. Well, and so. we want to hear all about your uh, award acceptance. I know you'll make those steps, and can't wait to see mm -hmm. Phil Ledbetter. 50-yard line tomorrow with the Pride uh -huh. of the Southland Band. Bluegrass take on some of our favorites, including Rocky Top. Great exactly. to see you. Exactly. You too, Beth. Thank in. you. Okay. Coming up.